Hi, Black Cat Recapped here. Today I am going to explain a drama movie named Closer. Dan, a young writer, is walking along a street in downtown London. He sees a young woman with short red dyed hair coming towards him. They lock eyes and both start to smile. The woman is not used to cars driving on the left side of the road in the UK. She looks the wrong way and unintentionally steps into traffic, getting hit by a car. Dan rushes to her side. She looks up at him and greets him as a stranger. Luckily, she isn't seriously injured, just a bruised knee and some cuts and bruises. Dan takes her to the hospital where they start getting to know each other. When they leave the hospital, they walk past the park that Dan remembers from his childhood. They notice a wall with the names of firefighters, police officers, and others who sacrificed their lives to save others. They hop on the bus and keep talking. We find out that Dan wants to be a writer but currently writes obituaries. The young woman from America introduces herself as Alice Ayres. She says she works as a stripper in New York City and came to London to escape a toxic relationship. Eventually, they reach Dan's workplace. He says goodbye and begins to leave but then changes his mind. When asked if he has a girlfriend, he answers with a yes. One year later, Dan is getting his picture taken at a small art studio by Anna. Dan and Alice are living together, and Dan has written a book about his romantic relationship with Alice. Anna, an American photographer, is taking his photo for the cover of his recently published book. Anna usually takes pictures of people she doesn't know. She mentions that she enjoys going to the aquarium and taking pictures of people there. She tells Dan that she's currently separated from her husband. She reveals that she has read his book and enjoyed it. They share a kiss, but she stops when she learns that he has a girlfriend and the book is about her. While he is expressing his strong feelings for her and his desire to see her, she tells him to move on and get over it. At that moment, the doorbell rings, and it's Alice who has finished her shift at a nearby coffee shop and come to meet Dan. He invites her up to the studio where she meets Anna. Alice's hair is a bit longer now and in its natural medium brown color. Alice asks Anna to take her picture, and Dan leaves to give them privacy. Anna starts taking the photo, and Alice reveals that she overheard their conversation on the intercom while she was downstairs. She turns away, and Anna starts apologizing. Alice looks back with tears in her eyes and angrily tells Anna to take the picture. A little later, Dan is at home using his computer. He's in an online chat room about dating and pretending to be a woman for fun. He encounters another man named Larry on the internet. Larry reveals that he is a dermatologist. When Larry asks for a name, Dan tells him, Anna. They engage in some explicit and intense conversation, and as a joke, Dan suggests meeting in person. He tells Larry to meet him at the aquarium. Surprisingly, Larry goes to the aquarium the next day, and by chance, Anna is also there. Larry approaches her, and they realize that Dan played a prank on him. Larry feels embarrassed, while Anna finds it amusing, and they start to connect with each other. Four months later, Dan and Alice are getting ready to attend Anna's art exhibition. During this time, we find out that Dan's father has recently passed away, and after the exhibition, Dan is going to the countryside for the funeral. Alice wants to accompany him and provide support, but he prefers to be alone. They go to the exhibition and come across the photo taken by Anna, showing Alice with tears in her eyes. While Alice is observing the picture, she meets Larry. They have a short conversation where they engage in some light flirting. Alice discovers that Larry and Anna are in a relationship when Anna joins them and greets Larry. As the four of them chat, it becomes apparent that Dan still has strong feelings for Anna. Anna shares the story of how she and Larry met mentioning that they jokingly call him Cupid. Additionally, we learn that Dan's book didn't succeed, and he has returned to being an obituary writer. Shortly after, Dan puts Alice in a taxi outside the venue, pretending that he's going straight to the funeral. However, he actually returns to the building to have another conversation with Anna. Another year later, Dan enters his apartment and initially tells Alice that he was at a business dinner. Eventually, he confesses that he has been seeing Anna and that they have been having an affair since the evening of the art exhibition. Meanwhile, Anna is in her apartment with Larry. They are now married, 
and Larry has just returned from a business trip. Initially, Anna keeps her affair a secret from him. However, Larry confesses that he slept with a prostitute during his trip because he can't bear to lie to her. Anna calmly reassures him that it's okay. Then, it is revealed that she has been having an affair with Dan. Larry becomes furious and questions why she bothered marrying him. Anna explains that she tried to end things with Dan when she and Larry decided to marry, but the affair reignited. Larry demands explicit details about her relationship with Dan, and she reluctantly provides them. Larry is filled with anger and tells her to leave. Meanwhile, back at Dan's apartment, Alice is heartbroken and in tears. Dan attempts to console her and apologizes for hurting her. She leaves the apartment, and he has no idea where she has gone. Six months later, Larry enters a strip club to have a drink and notices Alice, who is working there as a stripper. She is wearing revealing clothes, a g-string, and a pink wig. Larry arranges a private dance with her in a separate room, and she willingly agrees. After the dance, Alice flirts, smiles, and introduces herself as Jane Jones as part of her performance. Larry is feeling emotionally conflicted due to his ongoing divorce proceedings with Anna. He becomes frustrated that Alice is toying with him and not taking him seriously. However, when he asks for a closer, more intimate look at her, she complies with his request. A few months later, Anna is hurrying to meet Dan at a music concert and apologizes for being late. They sit down for a drink, and during their conversation, we find out that earlier that day, Anna met with Larry to have him sign the divorce papers. After a few moments, Dan correctly guesses that Anna slept with Larry that day. A flashback reveals the earlier meeting, where Larry proposes that he will sign the divorce papers if Anna agrees to sleep with him one last time. She reluctantly agrees, hoping to bring an end to the whole situation. Anna clarifies that Larry only got her body and nothing more. However, Dan is still upset about the situation. A few months later, Dan bursts into Larry's office, filled with anger, and reveals that Anna has left him and returned to Larry. He confronts Larry, blaming him for the situation. However, Larry surprises Dan by confessing that Anna never filed the divorce papers. Anna is back with Larry because she is drawn to tumultuous relationships due to her addiction to sadness, but Larry loves her regardless and wants to be with her. Larry initially feels anger towards Dan but then starts to feel sorry for him when he sees how heartbroken Dan truly is. He advises Dan to go back to Alice, but Dan admits that he doesn't know where she is. Larry informs Dan about the strip club where Alice works and assures him that he didn't sleep with her when he saw her there. As Dan is leaving, Larry confesses that he actually did have a sexual encounter with Alice. Dan goes to the strip club and finds Alice dancing on the stage. They make eye contact, and both appear happy to see each other once again. Alice and Dan are in a hotel room near Heathrow Airport, and they appear to be very happy together. Alice reveals that she plans to go back to New York and wants to take Dan along as a special treat. She mentions that it's the anniversary of the day they first met on a London street corner four years ago, and Dan remarks on how time flies. Dan asks Alice if she slept with Larry, and she insists that she didn't. However, Dan continues to press for the truth. Eventually, he decides to step out and buy cigarettes, promising to discuss it further when he returns. Before leaving, he has a change of heart and comes back to Alice with a flower. In response, she confesses that she no longer loves him. She explains that she stopped loving him because he kept pushing for the truth about Larry. Finally, she admits that she did sleep with Larry on the night they met at the strip club. Dan reveals that he has known the truth all along and has already forgiven her. But she has reached her limit and tells him to leave. As the tension escalates, she starts yelling at him, and he reacts by slapping her. Shocked by his violent outburst, Dan leaves the hotel room. Alice returns to New York on her own, while Dan remains in London. While passing by the park where they first met, Dan notices that one of the names on the memorial wall is Alice Ayers. Meanwhile, in New York, as Alice goes through immigration, it is revealed that her real name on her passport is Jane Jones the name she had given Larry when he pressed her for it at the strip club.